Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another bullet journal video. I'm just going to give you a quick flip through of what August looked like because even though I filmed me setting up August, I kind of never edited it or put it out. So this is kind of what it looks like. August was a bit of a hit and miss with me planning wise because I've just got a lot going on in August and I was just too kind of busy, I suppose. Um, but I'm going to be setting up September. So for this month's spread, I wanted to do a kind of a quick bullet journal because a lot of people feel that they don't have time for a bullet journal or can't draw to have a bullet journal. So I'm just going to show you a really quick way to set it up so you can still use it and it's really functional but you're not spending hours or days creating planner or bullet journal spreads. So I'm just starting off with the title which is obviously, obviously? <laughs> that's a new word, obviously September and I wanted to keep this kind of doodly or child drawn kind of feels or vibes and I, I was inspired to do woodland creatures as I was away camping last week. So I just drew a little fox with some leaves and then at the bottom I just put 2018. So for my calendar view, I decided to draw circles this month instead of the usual squares or grids. You can use a template or draw around something if you want everything to be precise and perfect, but like I say, I wanted it all kind of really hand-drawn, really doodly, or like really kiddified. I want to say kiddified. I don't mean as in I'm drawing with my left hand like a three-year-old is drawing it. I just mean, I don't know what I mean. Hopefully you guys know what I mean. I don't even know what I mean. Um, but for the weekend, I drew kind of little flower petals just around the weekend so I can visually see which days are Saturday and Sunday. And then for the other days of the week, I just drew little leaves on different parts of the circle. I then labelled at the bottom the days of the week. And then with a pencil, I just marked in the actual dates. And I drew them in the middle quite large. And that way I can write over any plans straight over the top and I'll still be able to see what the date is and it won't interfere with the writing that I'm putting on top of it. I also decided just to fill in this gap here and my head keeps getting in the way. I mean, literally I could be laying on top of my journal right now. My head is just so far in there. I'm so sorry about that, guys. <laughs> and here too. I kind of forget that I'm filming sometimes and I'm on the floor, I'm kind of kneeling over like this whiteboard that I'm leaning on and I just forget that the camera is straight above me. So yeah, sorry about that. But I just filled it in with a couple of doodles. Then for the next page, I always find it really handy to have like a note section. And this is where I will list all of my video ideas or kind of just things that I need to jot down. I find this so helpful in my bullet journal spreads. So I made sure I kept that in here and I've literally just put a title and some woodland kind of doodles. And then for my habit trackers, I decided to split them up instead of having them all in one big grid. And I just decided to draw woodland creatures all on them. I made sure there were 30 squares to represent each day and then when I have fulfilled that day and done that task, I can mark it off. So I've done a little rabbit, a bear, a raccoon and a deer and then lastly I've done, it can either be a hedgehog or a porcupine. And then I just moved on to my weekly spreads. For me my bullet journal is just so handy for me to write lists in. I'm a very list orientated person. I have to start each day off with a list and if I was to do that in my actual happy planner then it would just be full up with just lists all the time and I wouldn't have any other room for anything else. So for me, my bullet journal is a must for my daily lists. So that's all I'm doing here is I'm just labeling the days of the week and then I will be able to write the list of what I want to do under it. 
having all my lists in one place is a lot better than having kind of 15 random sheets of paper with lists scribbled all over them. This keeps it all together and it's just really handy because then anything that I haven't done I can still see it on the same page and just check it off if I've done it later in the week. You could leave it or you can draw little boxes around it. I drew boxes around some. I done these kind of little leaves um, down the sides and then on the other parts I just done little laurels. So with all of my pages now finished it really didn't take me that long and this is all I really need to keep me going throughout the month. If I wanted to I could go back and add a little bit more, I could add colour if I wanted to but this was just a way to show you guys that you don't need to have lots of colour, you can literally have you and a book and a pen and that's it, you can do this in bed if you wanted to, it's really not that difficult and it doesn't have to take a long time. If you guys are like this video then make sure you give me a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you all next time bye guys